What's going on, y'all? Not the real Will Smith. And another for your mammy. Ooh! Curry popped in the morning. I brushed my teeth earlier. I washed my face. And then uh, I laid back down. I was watching TV last night so you guys can see. I still got the covers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but let me get dressed, man. No mind my attire. I don't got no clothes on. <laughs> Seat covers and seat covers in the winter time suck because they cold. Oh man. Really? I don't know how to clean up anything. House needs to be clean too. Had some, um, what do you call them joints? California Rose I had yesterday. <laughs> Energy drink from yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up later. Don't worry, y'all. Y'all gonna be with me for that too. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, man. I don't like no lights, even if it's just a low tire light. Low tire light. I mean, we got a full tank of gas, though. That's probably about to be burned up. I got somewhere to go after workouts. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all at the gate after I get through the gate. I look crazy, don't I? <laughs> this is my seat belt. This is my reflective belt. Shoot, your boy got on a race car uh, freaking belt. A harness. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right, for real now, I'm about to be out. family, my siblings, my brothers, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. Uh, pray for everything that my mother has done for all of us. I pray for my friendships. Um, I, I pray for abundance in life going forward. Longevity with this vehicle that I'm in. Longevity and success in my YouTube career. Longevity and success exiting the military and going into law enforcement, whether that is state or federal. And I pray that everyone that is less fortunate to me can be in a better position, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, on a serious note, guys, sorry for the bad lighting. It's just early and dark. On a serious note, guys, I've been going through a lot of uh, mental health, um, depression, and things like that, mainly because I'm not home with my family, and I'm ready to kind of transition out of the military. Mentally, I'm, I'm done, uh, but physically, like, I know I can do it. And sometimes you really just have to sit back and just be grateful for everything that you've accomplished whether you think your situation is good or not. Think about where you are now versus where you could have been if you weren't doing the things you're doing right now. I try to preach that to my soldiers that <clears throat> life can be worse. It really can be. And I don't want them to get just so sucked in on the now, like what's going on right now because things change. 
your transitions in life always fluctuate like what you're doing right now is not a forever thing and you know i take that in in mind but you always want to have some days that you're just like you think about things and it kind of consumes your mind so a lot of things a lot of what i do is just sit in the car meditate a little bit and like my friend yesterday called me and she told me she was like hey continue doing things that you like to do it helps to center yourself and that's what i've been doing I've, I've been driving a lot mainly for work i had to drive a lot but also <clears throat> reading books uh i log out of social media during the week i'm not really on social media when i log out i delete I delete the app so i'm not inclined to touch it and open it back up and youtube guys like i've been pumping out a lot more videos as you guys can see and i know that's where i want my focus to be and i love that so just letting you guys know like whatever your passion is like let that consume you instead of like things that you're worried about or anxious about and depressed about and everything's gonna work out y'all all right just a little bit tidbit vi all right y'all pt's over couldn't really bring you guys with me because it's organized and yeah i i didn't get prior permission but i'll send you guys a video of what our pt looked like so you guys know and like mine's was modified just because like I have some injuries that uh, I'm currently going through. But anyways, about to head home now. I was gonna go pick up my, actually my filters for my vape. Let me show you. Ouch, cannot pull that out. Uh, there we go. For my vape, but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because I think I need to be to work early today to help um, somebody with something. So yeah, we gonna. All right, man. So we're going to. Yeah, go home and change and get clean. Do I all my trash? Don't. Do I all my trash? Don't look at that. By the way, sheesh. NTR underscore Will Smith. Y'all know what to do. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. All right.
going on, y'all? Right now it's about 12.21. So I came home, finished cleaning up, as you guys seen earlier. I had changed into a uniform and I went to work for a little bit to get some tasks done. But right now it's lunchtime. And after lunch, I have therapy sessions. That's once a week, my group therapy session. Therapy and mental health go hand in hand and you just need it. It's needed, y'all. And if you're a black man, not to sound racist or anything, black men need therapy the most because it's the stigma like men need to be strong and da da da, which is valid. That's cool, right? But you got to be able to voice your opinions and your thoughts and feelings as well. Like you can't harbor all that stuff in because that's when bad things happen. So I'm dressed in regular clothes, even though I'm on work hours because my therapy session is two hours long and. Most of the time my unit doesn't call me in, but if they do, I'll definitely change back. Um, I'm always on standby and things like that. But typically on Wednesdays, around lunchtime, I'll change into civilian clothes. And then one o'clock, I'll just go ahead and, you know, go to my therapy sessions. So right now I'm heading to the food truck. I love the food truck. Give me some food, some grub. I got about 40 minutes. And I'll see y'all back when I get my food, yeah. All right, y'all, so I just went real quick to get me an energy drink, but I want to show you guys my meal. Gotta be real quick, cause I gotta get in here to therapy. But they made fry, loaded fry, ham, hamburger loaded um, fries, I think it's called. And I think that's cheese. Ugh, don't like that. Yep. Yeah, my bad. One of my, my soldiers called me. I heard a little doo doo But yeah, it's like some cheese in here. We got bacon in here, hamburger cut up, and the fries. I think it's going to be fire. It's a whole lot of carbs that I shouldn't be eating. What? It's good enough for what it is. <laughs> I'll burn it off at the gym later on. It's not bad. I need more seasoning, but you know, you know. Get yeah, what you get when the military pay for it. All right, y'all. Y'all, came back from the therapy session. I learned a lot. I want to share with you guys. So, got love on my lady a little bit more. Um, every day at therapy is, is a great day for me. It's a beautiful day. And I'm in much better spirits than I was before. Uh, the number one biggest thing is taking accountability of your actions on both ends and communication, which is what, what my old lady tell me all the time. But I just have an issue with communicating my vulnerabilities. Sorry, I'm going through the car wash. I don't have to go back to work today. We actually about to go pick up my vapes. But it's about three, actually 3.30 right now. And I just wanted to talk to you guys, you know, um, love on your lady extra tight, for real. Love on your lady extra tight. I know I'm a hard butt, I really am. Um, and my, my lady knows that as well. A lot of it is military, the other half of it is just my upbringing, how I was raised and things like that. But for sure, I can't wait to see her. I miss her a lot, I miss my girls a lot. I know you guys miss them a lot as well. If you guys aren't new to the channel, you guys are veterans. And um, I'm ready to just, you know, have a conversation with her whenever, uh, she's ready because we you know we've been having some uh, arguments back and forth uh, little stuff uh, don't go too in depth I definitely want to speak to her first about it and I know we're gonna come back together that's why I said therapy is important therapy gives you an unbiased opinion on uh, situations that you speak about and the other thing is you have to be very honest with yourself love yourself before you can love others but also be honest with the treatment that you need because it's necessary. Absolutely is necessary. And um, I just wanted to just uh, let you guys know that. No, the other thing, affirmations. My uh, lady speaks life um, into herself and I wanna speak that into myself as well, along with her and the girls. Um, so I've been doing that more. Um, and if you uh, watch this, uh, mama, I love you. I love you for real. Um, just know I'm taking this uh, serious my um, recovery and therapy and I hope that you are as well and I apologize for any inconvenience I may have caused you any grief that I may have caused you um, 
I, I know this is it's, it's gonna work. It's gonna work, and we gonna be okay, all right? So, yeah. <laughs> we are in that splash car wash. <laughs> I got an unlimited wash. Come on up in here. They probably, I'm probably in here like six days out of seven. But shoot, for forty six dollars, I would hope that you guys are too. All right, about to hop on this road and go pick up my um, filters for my vapes. Got an hour drive. Let's see how when I get there. I'm back home. It's 6:09. Day's pretty much over. Only other thing I need to do is go to the gym, which I'm gonna go at probably eight o'clock. Went to go pick up my package. Get all my pods, my clear um, vape, uh, filter pods, whatever you wanna call them, for my juice. Please, yeah. So generally, if you use these filters. Based on how I pull it, because I only have one, it lasts about a week. Uh, it depends on how hard you pull it, or how yeah, how hard you pull it, how much you're using it. Because eventually the pods on the inside, the filter will burn out, and then you'll just have to replace it. But each box online is about $8.99, $9, but in stores is about $20, $25. So I save money by ordering them online through 8 vape and I just go pick them up. It takes longer to get to my peel box than it would to an actual like location that like can take them. They call them Pudos, P-U-D-O. I don't know why, that's just what it is. So I had to drive like an hour out to go get it, but it's better that than me having to drive three hours to PA, so I found a closer spot. But in New York, now when you actually wanna go get the juice, whether it's nicotine or not, nicotine has a law, I mean, New York has a law where they don't male nicotine products i'm assuming maybe it's flammable gas I, I don't know but whenever i need to get the liquid i typically just get the liquid when i go down south or i'll go to pa to get that but i'm good on liquids i think i got like almost 10 10 bottles that count in the one i just uh use and box wise i have one two four of the four boxes of these so four times three four eight twelve get 12 filters Plus the box actually that I have in here. So I got 14 all together. So that should last me a good old month if I'm not like going crazy. Sometimes you'll use the filters the first time you let it sit and soak on the, um, what do you call it? The coil in the middle. And sometimes they just don't work. They just don't work and I don't know why, but it's kind of, it's probably like one out of every three boxes. As soon as you put the juice in, you let it sit 10, 15 minutes, it just tastes burnt. And I think it gets stale. I'm assuming it got expiration dates, I don't know, but so far so good. I haven't had any issues with that. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll take you guys to the gym with me in about two hours and then we'll get back on this. It's been a long day, y'all, for real. <laughs> 